Hi everybody. So today here's the colors that were used in this painting. Um, also, the two colors I wanted to point out from Arteza, they had sent me this little pack with the 12 by 12 black stretch canvases and this pearl which I'm really liking that pearl white and this Aztec gold the Aztec gold is so pretty I'm really really in love with it right now very creamy um, in other news I know I said January was the month of cups and it still is and I'm still testing all of these cups I'm just behind in my editing, so give me some time, and I think this is going to go into February. Um, speaking of love, the month of love, I have love for you. Thank you so much, you guys, Allison and Cheryl, and for all of you who watch and support this channel. I really, really appreciate it. There's new ways to support this channel in 2020, and if you want to click into the description box, you can see all the new ways. Um, an Amazon store and a wish list and paintings and prints like this one. This peacock print is for sale at my shop and this is from the Pour to Peacock collaboration I did with Sandra Lett and I'm giving you $65 includes shipping for a 16 by 16 print at heathermaterart.com and that is printed on this gorgeous metallic luster paper very beautiful and it will be signed by me so head over there if you're interested in one of those now this painting today is a 12 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas and all my paints were mixed with floetrol and water and that's it so my original idea here was I knew I was going to do a swipe and um, so that's what I did. I started layering my paint on the canvas just in what appears to be somewhat of a random pattern. <laughs> you can see sort of layering things and then you know you need to tilt your canvas to cover any big um, spots that you may have missed and it doesn't really matter what the pattern is right now because the idea is that we're gonna swipe over it with another color so I am <clears throat> having a small love affair with the golden fluid bronze you probably have seen it in the last five of my paintings or something <laughs> and I love it it's so beautiful and so shimmering like all of the iridescence from by golden really gorgeous and <clears throat> I was hoping to get some pretty cells here um, by swiping with it so my original thought was I'm gonna swipe with um, plastic and then I thought, no, maybe I should do a dip, one of my little reverse dips, and see what kind of patterns come up. Well, this was not my best thought process. <laughs> you know, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I didn't like the way that turned out. I'm like, okay, back to the original plan, which was to swipe with plastic, like a piece of a sheet of plastic, and I just get those sheets of plastic between the canvases I buy, the big canvases. And um, so I did the swipe and then you can see I waited like 20 minutes and that's all the cells that popped up. So hardly any cells at all. So I went back over it and then I thought, okay, I'll do some little selective reverse plastic wrap dips and get some interesting patterns and nothing <laughs> nothing I struggled with this painting <laughs> like severely struggled with this painting um, yeah, I'm just another whole bunch of nothing for that too so 
I realized like I'm getting down to the canvas on some of those spots. Probably what was happening was my paints were a little too thick for a swipe. And if you're having trouble getting cells when you use a metallic, because metallics definitely will help you get cells in a swipe, it's probably because your paints are too thick. And I think mine were this day. So that was definitely part of my issue. <clears throat> and um, although I did not correct it, to do the second part of the swipe. So you'll see I pretty much have a lot of the same issues. I thought I saw these beautiful little blown flowers and I thought I want to do these little flowers at the bottom so it kind of looks like they're growing up from the bottom and then maybe it's a meadow behind it or something like that so that was my thought process and what ended up happening is I made the flowers but um, the composition just wasn't there like I probably should have started them a little lower and by the time I blew them up with the straw, that's just a straw, um, it, I don't know, it was just they started blending in and then, like I said, this is just a painting I struggled with and even though I struggled and struggled, I did really like the end result and, um, but like I said, I'll just keep going until I feel that it's something special that I feel. and. I know art's really subjective and some people are going to like things that other people don't and that's just part of, you know, the, that's just part of the artistic process I guess and, you know, it's okay. It's okay if you don't like something and I'm sorry if it hurts you when I do things that you don't like, but... So see... What I was going for, it looks too, um, yeah, it didn't, the, the look I was going for was not there with the flowers and the meadow and all that stuff, it just didn't work out. So I thought, maybe I will turn it around and use the dark parts to create some depth in the painting, to draw the line down from the top. Um, through the swipes, like these were all my thoughts. And again, there's something that just wasn't working with that as a whole. So at this point, I just decided I was just gonna pretty much scrap it. So usually when I start doing that and just running my uh, piece of plastic through it, I just am pretty much ready to scrap it. But I kept going and I thought, eh, I'll pull out the little balloon. See, you can see I'm not even wearing gloves because I had walked away at this point and come back and walked away and just not even sure what to do with this painting. So I do love this little area right here. And I do want to preserve the center part of that swipe because it's really pretty. You can see in real time how I'm struggling with my decisions here. Now I love that. That one balloon roll right there, I swear it changed everything for me. And I was like, okay, <clears throat> I think I can make this work now. And that's the other thing, you know, sometimes a painting just doesn't come together and doesn't come together. And then you do one thing and suddenly it makes sense. And that's what happened with this one. And 
Now see, look at the composition. I really, it just, for some reason now this painting just made sense to me. And I just thought it was really pretty. I put a little swoop up there. And now I love it. I'm gonna take it under the light so you can see all the little shimmers. That's the whole thing. Look at how it's mostly, you know, that bronze has been mixed in with everything. So it's very um, shimmery and that pearl as well. So you can see, and there's gold in there, that has type gold. So there's a lot of metallics. It just really ended up looking really interesting. There's a lot of um, interest in this one, I guess you would say. And for those of you who love my balloon rolls, this is definitely a whole balloon roll painting. <laughs> I haven't done one of those in a while. I've been really using that plastic wrap dip for a while, so it's fun to kind of go back to my roots a little bit. <clears throat> Look at how that phthalo green turned to turquoise when it mixed with the yellow and... Um, it just brought out some of the greens and this is really pretty. Yeah, and then I tried to stay, save that center, that swipe right there in the center. And it somehow it just created the whole composition of that painting. That's probably one of my favorite parts right there though, aside from the center, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks so much for being here and coming along with me in this painting journey. Till the next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.